Hey everyone, it's Tasty Taste with Buttikins, and did you know new Tyranids are in tournaments right now? Well, you're going to find out about that right after this quick intro. Hello and welcome back to the week that was in warmer 40k tournaments, where we speed through some winning lists from the previous weekend. Last weekend saw seven events with at least five rounds and 28 players with one major event. Eldari nabbed three out of the seven first place podiums, but unlike last week's Army Diversity, we had Eldari and Tau taking 14 of the 21 top three spots. The balanced data sheet couldn't come here fast enough. Now let's take a quick sample look at the list that tried to stand out in those seven events from this last weekend. First up is the Badger Brawl GT that had zero Count them, zero Harlequins playing in this event. This meant that other two dominant armies, Custodes and Tau, led the charge. One Tau army from Dustin Lang took third place thanks to his all-in crisis suit list. His 15 crisis suits were able to go 4-1 beating Dread Knight Iron Hands, Meta Custodes, oddly losing to Drone Hauler Death Guard, beating Disciples of Bellicor, and lastly winning against Meta Custodes. Next, at the Warhound GT, Cody Jury's exotic Drukari Eldari list went 5-1, showing some actual list creativity. Cody took, of all things, Corsairs, Mandrakes, Scourges, and Skyweaver jet bikes to name a few of his strange choices. But for whatever reason, they worked in his capable hands. Cody only lost in his final game, but he did beat Meta Custodes, another Meta Custodes, Meta Harlequins, Wolfguard Space Wolves, Vanguard Vet Iron Hands, and finally lost to Ben Neal's Carloquins. At Tau Tipping 2022, we saw some continued Eldari innovation with Colin Sherman's Youthway Powered Eldar winning the event. Colin took what could be a future look at Eldari after the Harlequin nerfs arrive. His list had 12 different types of units with a little of everything to flood the board. Shadow Weavers for some indirect, Banshees to avoid Overwatch, Fire Prisms for big targets, and lots of units that can move around the board easily and score objectives and secondaries. Colin went through Mixed Tau, a close mirror match against Uthway, Crusher Stampede, Meta Custodes, and finally beating Meta Harlequins. Following up, we go to the Bedlam in the Berg GT, where we have a very interesting second place finisher, whose name I'm going to butcher, Manik Gudamani and his Tyranids. Manik, for reasons unknown, was able to play the still quote unquote unreleased new Tyranid Codex. It meant we got a future glimpse into our possible next overlords. Manik's list was all over the place but fielded some suspected hard hitters like Bone Sword Shooty Warriors, Mortal Wound Generating Maliceptor, the Eats Everything Haro Specs, a couple Winged Hive Tyrants protected by the newly improved Tyrant Guard, and a Synapse Harpy to link all the synaptic abilities together. Manique went undefeated with one tie, fighting off Skimmer Eldari, a strange Iron Warriors Chaos Space Marine list, Martyred Lady Sisters, he then tied Crash's Suit Spam Tau, and then finally beat Long Strike Tau at the Battle to End Alzheimer's Major Charity Tournament. While a fantastic cause had an impressively toxic showing, instead of diving into a particular list, just look at the top 10 here, and you will question all your 40k life choices. This is a perfect example that encapsulates all that is wrong with 40k at the moment. Because while at smaller GTs you can find great results with a lot of surprises, it is still the plus 50 player events that bring out the worst list from the supposed most talented players that just can't help themselves. Let's go down under and we will find a good palate cleanser at the Clash of Titans 15 where Alexander Anglozos, third place Admech, went 4-1 only losing in the last round to the eventual first place winner. Alexander went with his take on the LVO 2022 winning list with a Skatari veteran cohort Metallicalist, taking the linchpin 20-man Ranger Blob, supported by a ton of mid-squads of all kinds. It was though his two nine-man Rust Stalkers that would keep his list in the game, holding the line while the rest of his army picks off opponents and scores all the points. Alexander won versus Speed Freak Orcs, Twisted Helix, Gene Stealer Colts, Deathwing Dark Angels, Meta Custodes, and then finally lost to Meta Harlequins. The last event from the weekend, we have the Dance of Nightmares, and Ben Davis's Custodes finishing second, going 4-1. His list was your typical Meta Custodes with a Witch Seekers unit just as a slight wrinkle. Ben beat Disciples of Bellicor, Freeblade Knights, Silent King Necrons, Uthway Indirect Eldar, and then finally lost to Meta Harlequins. Well, that will do it for this week. Thanks for watching. 
As of Freddy release, we still don't have our much needed nerfs to Harlequins, Custodes, and Taos. So we are stuck in a holding pattern till then. Don't forget though, if you want to see the rest of the top three lists in detail, click on the links in the description below. And as always, if you like this content, please leave a comment, subscribe, hit the like button, and also ring that bell. Thanks again.